we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 47. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Throws it out. Oh, he's hit hard for a loss. Loss of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll go Brown. And he carries the ball for a nice game. his way to about the 22. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. From the 22 yard line, it's first down. They bring him down to the 13 yard line. Great job by the running back and that's a gain of nine. three-yard line and this is the eighth play of the drive and the goal line defense digging in here and he's tackled at the four-yard line this is picture-perfect defense by this corner great job of providing run support That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. Tenth play of the drive. The short yardage defense here. Dives, and he's down. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. the PAT. So an 11 play, 53 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats, and talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. First down. Hands it to the back. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 48. Williams, left side. And he shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That's good for the Indians. That makes it fourth and four. Marcus got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. It's a short kick. He's taken down at the 22. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 33-yard line. From their own 33-yard line. First down. Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for the game. Seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Red, shoot it! Got a receiver and he dropped it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gets out to around the 48. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From the 48-yard line, second down. So at the end of one, the Mustangs lead 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Catches it, gets out of bounds. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. Tackle at about the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Here's a running play. Nice run there as they work the outside. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out in a five wide set. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. From the 27-yard line, second down. Quick strike, and he drops it. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Brought down at the 8-yard line. play of the drive coming up. Here's the give. And they make the stop at the six. It's second and goal. Ball on the six-yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws out and through his hands. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. This is the 15th play of this drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. That's a great tackle at the eight. This isn't much more than an extra point. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. The kick is up, and he's got it. Line up to kick this one away. Burks takes it at the 12, and he's taken down at the 28. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's to the 40, makes it to the 47. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47 yard line. run there. Williams gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. Third down and they need to get it inside the 43. Taken down at about the 35. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. You're not going to be able to get by a short tackler like this linebacker too often. Right. 
Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's leveled at the 24-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Good open field tackle. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's in for the touchdown. within a field goal. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight play, 72 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score, 10-7. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the three yard line. He's tackled at the 29 yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Second down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. Tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's scrambling. Slides down. And he just slid down to avoid the contact there. You know, Brad, sometimes a quarterback's got to get down low to protect himself. But in this case, try to show some guts. Break a tackle and get downfield. Look for the first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they finally knock him out at the 24. This secondary better tighten it up. They're going to slow down this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. The 12-yard line. Quick pass. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a seven-play, 71-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 17-7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. And they tackle him at the 16. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Scrambling around. The 
They'll bring him down at the 10. Five, maybe six yards there on the scramble. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires out to his wideout. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled around the one-yard line. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Kicks away, and it's good. Well, we've played a half of football. The Mustangs with a touchdown lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The pass rush of both teams has been totally negated in the first half. Neither team has been able to come up with a sack. So what's the D-line coach right now preaching to you guys up front, you big fellows who love to go there and make life miserable for a quarterback? Well, you got to watch the football and get off it as soon as you can and try to get that first step quickness because I know those guys are big and strong, but they're also a little bit chunky. And if you're on the defensive line and you're, you're a little bit slimmer and you get off the football a little bit faster, but try to get off that ball quick. And it's not just sacks, Reese. How about you affect the quarterback? How about you, you bull rush your guy and you put him in his lap and you make him throw over top or, you know, change the throwing angle so he doesn't have a clean pocket where he can step up in there and make big throws the whole game. You got to do something, something different than you did the first half to affect the quarterback. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays. And it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And down he goes at about the 31. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. By 40, by 40. Has some daylight. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Shoved out of bounds at the 35. So the halfback loses about two on the run. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. Quickly, and he's got his man. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Here's the pass, broken up. He showed you some of his natural athletic ability following the play and making a really quick stab to knock away the pass. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. No, he dropped it. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Zips it to the back. Tackle for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Didn't get all of that one. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 38-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. Right two. Yeah. Has all day to throw. Here's an opening. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. From the 47 yard line. First down. Brought down right around the 44 yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Here's a handoff, left side. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He's hit and taken down. a play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. So the question on this one is whether or not the ball carrier's knee hit the ground before the fumble popped loose. So they'll go up to the booth to take a few more looks to see whether or not the ball was fumbled before the ball carrier was down.
After reviewing the play, the ruling, the ruling on, the on the field is reversed. reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Out of bounds around the 30-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. That makes it 37. Open and he can't pull it in. Number 14 was the intended receiver of the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at about the 23 yard line. That was a great decision to take off. He saw a little bit of room open up and he knew he could get the first. From the 23-yard line. First down. Good gain by the tailback of about seven on the option play. That'll bring up second and three. Seven and looking at first and goal. He's taken down at about the seven yard line. We head to the final quarter and we've got a great game on our hands. 17 10, Mustang. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. Well, the offense certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey guys, it's your turn. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Williams takes it at the 12. Brought down at the 31. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And they get nice yardage on that run. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Taken down around the 38-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Gets out to around the 38. Up the middle for a nice game. Burks picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. From the 33-yard line, 
Second down. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at about the 35. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's level at the 28. Just under three to go in regulation. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He throws. Throws complete touchdown. They saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. The one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. The Mustangs have put up 24 unanswered points. One team can't do anything wrong. The other team can't do anything right. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. to the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Just over two minutes in the game. And two, two, 20. Kill, kill, kill. Three. there really they just had nowhere to go after the catch it's second down now 13 to go ball in 34 and he's tackled at the 33 yard line the halfback picks up a yard the wildcats are going to call their second time out he zips it out to the left that close to being intercepted. Number 13 was the intended receiver. So they're going to go for it here. That makes it fourth and 12. He's on the run. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession.
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. He's out of bounds at the 46. From the 34 yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Tackles him hard at the 27. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 26 yard line. Slings it. And they push him out right around the 16 yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Across the middle, tight end's got it. Nice play to set up first and goal. He's under some heat. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. Hold everything, folks. There's a marker down. Let's get the call. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they can just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. From the six-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. And it all comes down to this play right here. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And this is the biggest extra point that this young man will ever have to kick in his life. This for overtime. They'll try to ice it with a timeout here. Well, if ever there was a big extra point to be had, then this is it. To go to overtime. 
minutes late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. That's the end of the fourth quarter, and we are headed to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's immediately tackled. Scrambling. Tackle made around the five yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. On the ground, up the middle. Gets to about the five yard line. Touchdown. It can be advantageous to have the ball second in overtime, but only if you can make a stop. Now that they gave up a score, they're playing from behind with a ton of pressure on them. And he hits the PAT. From the 25 yard line. First down. He goes out of bounds at the 20. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Fights forward to about the 19. They're about four yards away here on third down. Brought down at the three yard line. three they're knocking on the door they're packed in tight on the line Black five. Run, 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 run. and they'll get him in the backfield The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick out to his receiver. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain.
Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Five wide. There's the strike completes. And they make the stop around the eight yard line. That makes it first and goal. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. So they draw first blood here in double overtime. Avoiding field goals in overtime is just huge. Anytime you can get six in overtime instead of three, you're going to be tough to beat. He splits the uprights with the extra point. First and ten. Ball on the 25. And a quick throw. He's taken down around the 21-yard line. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. It. He's in space, out of bounds at the 18-yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. That brings us fourth and seven. This might be their last chance. Fourth down. And he's taken down right around the 20. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, the Mustangs, 38. The Wildcats, 31. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.